this is diastat. This is another seizure rescue option. However, this is a little older and a little less friendly packaging. As you can see, this is a rectal product and it's one of our older options for our patients. One of the most important things to define is definitely when to use this product and it's for seizure emergencies. So for your patient, a seizure emergency can mean a seizure greater than three minutes. It can mean a cluster of seizures that's greater than their norm. So let's say if they have more than six seizures within an hour, that's something that's personalized and something that you should define with your own patient. Now, when your patient receives this from the pharmacy, it'll come in a clear box with two rectal pens and also two jellies that are used to lubricate the tip. When it comes from the pharmacy, it's important to instruct the parents to inspect the product. Uh, the first thing to look out for is definitely the dose. So make sure that the dose matches the pharmacy label. The second thing is this green ready sign. The ready sign basically means that this has been inspected by the retail pharmacist and that it's locked and ready to go. So no matter how hard or soft your patients push, they get the right dose. And the last thing is the expiration date. These typically last anywhere from two to five years, depending on the lot number and depending on um, when it was manufactured, but it's good rule of thumb for your patients and their families to set reminders in their phone, uh, just to get a refill before it fills, runs out because it may go unused. So after those things are inspected, this product is ready to go and it should go with your child everywhere to make sure that it can be there to help. So let's say, Hypothetically, your child's having a seizure that's longer than three minutes. It's time to use a diastat. How do you do it? Okay, the first thing you should do is call an ambulance. You might not always have to take them away, but just so they can come, inspect your child, make sure that everything's okay, and step in if they need to. It's always good measure to call. Then you gather your products. So get your diastat box, open it up, take off the cap, use the lubricating jelly to lubricate the tip, Hold your child with your left hand or whatever is your stronger, more dominant hand. Insert into the rectum as far as it'll go. Once you're in the rectum, push, hold for about three seconds. Then you can take it out. Hold the butt cheeks together for another three seconds. And then the most important thing I want you to take from this presentation is to start timing. After 10 more minutes, if the seizure does not go away, you can use the second one and you would do the same process. Hold your child, take off the cap, lubricate the tip, insert into the rectum as far as it'll go, push it all the way, hold it there for another three seconds, and take it up. Hold the butt cheeks together for another three seconds, and if the seizure doesn't go away, hopefully at that point you'll have some help. So that's why it's good to call um, an ambulance and to have them step in if needed. Now the side effects of this medication are similar to that of the intranasal products. So you'll have slower breathing um, initially when you're giving it, but that'll subside and normalize as time goes on. Your child might always have also have a headache and they may also um, feel a little bit sleepy afterwards, but that's also something that'll go away as time goes on. The main important thing with this product and with the other emergency products is that it goes everywhere with your child. Think of it as a lifeline. So keep it in their backpack, um, take it with them to school, to the park, everywhere uh, that it's possible. And also to make sure that everyone is trained to use it. This product is a little trickier than the others and there might be a stigma. So it's good to advocate for your child, teach everyone around you how to use it, um, use resources like YouTube and just make it seem like it's something that's normal and not scary at all. This product should be stored in room temperature. It shouldn't be left in the car or anywhere that's too hot or too cold, but just the main important thing is that it goes with your child everywhere.